to you here again on my channel. I usually show you capsule wardrobe examples with clothes I found in different online shops. But today I would like to show you a different way where you can use clothes you already have, mix them with the future purchases and create a visual outfit guide for the season. First of all, you should decide what clothes, shoes and bags from your wardrobe you want to include in your new seasonal wardrobe. Right now you don't have to think about what outfits you can make with them, just choose all the things you'll be excited to wear in the near future. It can be just 5 items or 10 or 20, basically there is no limit. Then make sure they are clean, ironed and ready to be photographed. Here are the pieces I would like to have in my outfit guide. I've got a little bit of everything so I can show you how to take nice photos of different things for the best results. But first, let's cover the basics. Before you start shooting, make sure you have good natural light close by. The best way is to shoot in front of a window. This is very important because if you shoot in a dark room, the color of your piece will come out wrong. Also, the light shouldn't be too strong. You will know that your light is too strong if you can see sunspots on the wall or the floor. So just wait until you have a nice soft light and then start shooting. I think it's better to shoot items on the wall like this. You can use a small nail or some kind of a hook and hang your dress on it. This way you can see how it drapes at the bottom and it's quite important. And the rest of the things that don't keep the shape, like knitwear or silk stuff, you can simply shoot on the floor or the table, whatever you prefer. It's better to have a white or light grey background, later it will make the editing easier and faster. You can use a big sheet of white paper or some cotton white fabric like bed sheets as a background. I actually don't have anything like that, but what I do have is this white canvas and I think it will work great as well. Alright, let's start with dresses. When you hang them on the wall, make sure they don't wrinkle anywhere, that the shape is nice and the sleeves look good. Now find the perfect angle for the photo. Try to hold your camera somewhere on the same level as the waistline of the dress and take a couple of shots. Then check if everything is alright, that you didn't cover the lens with your finger or something like that. Ok, good, now let's try with the shirt. What's important here is to make sure that the hanger has the right size, it's not too big or too small because you need to have a nice shoulder line. You can also shoot some other tops in the same manner, but watch out for the shape, it shouldn't look weird or unnatural. Your aim here is to make it look the same way as when you wear it. When you shoot the skirts or any other bottom really, it's better to use this type of hanger. Then do the same, hang it on the wall, make it look nice and take a photo. If you have some outwear or jackets, it's better to shoot them close up. They will look better and you can see the correct shape of the piece. Shooting the jeans could be tricky because if you put them on the hanger, the pant legs might spread too wide and it will look unnatural. So first look how they look on the hanger. If it doesn't look good, shoot them on a flat surface. When your pants are laying flat, this area right here is a tricky one, so you need to make sure it looks natural. I usually do it like this and it gets a little bit better. In order to create nice pictures of my shoes and bag, I will need to do a small trick. I will take a piece of A3 format paper and lay it down like this. And then I will level the camera with the shoes and take a photo. Now that I have all the photos, I can start editing. I will use Visco app, but you can use whatever you like. If I see that the item on the picture looks different than in reality, I will adjust the exposure, contrast and saturation. And I won't use any filters, of course.
after that I usually use Photoshop to make the outfit guides but I guess not everybody know how to use it so I've been looking for a nap that can help us remove the background color and make it transparent the one I like the most is called eraser and the icon of the app looks like this now I can open my photo in the app adjust the size of the brush and start carefully erase the background then I will save it as PNG and move on to the next item well all the pictures are ready I will upload them to my computer and start working on my outfit guide I will do it in Google Docs this time first I need to change the page format to horizontal okay cool now I will just copy paste all the pictures here and adjust their size so they all look proportionate to each other when it's done I can start creating the outfits first I will see how many outfits I can make using only my clothes if it's not enough, I will go look for new stuff online and create new outfits. As you can see, it's not that hard to create a beautiful outfit guide for yourself. You don't need any special software or skills to make it look nice like this. And it's very useful because now you can see your wardrobe not as separate pieces, but as a collection of outfits. And you will gain the freedom of never wondering what to wear because you can see exactly what you have and all the ways you can wear it. That's it! I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments if you would like to try to make an outfit guide like this. I'm very curious. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please don't be shy. Let's chat. If you like this video and would like to save it and watch it again, please press like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.